Hello guys, my name is Gautam and you are watching the part 7 in the tutorial series of uh, making an advanced login system using PHP and MySQL. So in this part, I will make the profile page of our project. So as you can see here, it is the login page. So in that, I can log in. So let me provide a valid username and password. So it will say that you are successfully logged in because these records are present in the database. So in this tutorial, I will be making the profile page. So let me open my notepad plus plus and click on new and I will be making that is profile.php. So let me make the structure. So let me copy the code, the HTML part. So this remains same. So let me copy this and let me change the title to profile page and uh, just close the body and HTML. And let me copy this button. This button will also be there. So at the place of sign in, I will replace logout paste and I will replace logout and after that same we will have a div section with id section and in that I will have a heading of so let's suppose this time profile page I will just heading after that I will have a form So let me close this form. So no, the form will not be there. Just the two input fields will be there. So let me make this form because we need change password button will also be there in this form and uh, delete account. Let me make form method post and uh, action will be there on the same page. So let me close the form. So in that form two input fields will be there just containing the information that is username and email. First of all make the input type of text and the value will equal to value will equal to the username that is there with of the registered user so we, we will be processing the php for that so let me just left empty this value option and this will be unedit uneditable field we can't edit this field we can only see it so for that we have special attribute of html that is read only and then just close this after that we will also have for email value will be again left empty and read only so after that we will have uh, two buttons first of all for change password it will navigate to change password.php a button will be there button type submit name is equal to submit and the label of the button will be change password so let me close the button tag and also the anchor tag so let me copy this one more time and paste it and replace, replace here delete password delete sorry delete account So just change this to delete account.php. So these are the two steps that we will make in order to change our password at any time and in order to delete our account at any time. So after that, we just have to process our PHP. So let me save this and show you show you guys how it is looking. Let me 
login this is Gotham and one two three four five six and if I click sign in here then it is showing me there it is you are successfully logged in but here we need to uh, just force it to go to this uh, profile.php so what we can do here is that we can navigate to login.php and after that in we can eliminate this success variable and we can uh, provide a header function in that header function we can provide a location that is of profile.php and before that we can start our session declare a session variable of let's suppose username because we want to use this username variable in our profile.php page also so let me assign the value that is username so it will be navigating when I click sign in so it will be navigating to profile.php with this header function so let me eliminate this success variable and also from this this band tag also so let me save this and also save this so so when I write this Gotham and one two three four five six so it will navigate to profile.php so as you can see here profile page we have made two input fields representing the values that is username and email so it will represent because we we are not we have not written the php script for that and two buttons are there change password and delete account so this is a button of logout so let me write our script first of all we need to start our session as, as always at the top and after that we need to include our uh, lib file that is connection.php in order to connect to our database after that we need to write a simple query that is sql select star from table name that is users in our case where username is equal to the username variable so let me declare the username variable to the session that we have declared in the previous script so the name of the variable session variable is username so we are just storing the username in the username variable and then we are checking that is select all the rows from the users table where username column is equal to the username that is provided by the user so at the time of login so just execute this query mysql i query con variable and the sql variable after that just store the number of rows that is written by this result variable That is mysql i num rows result so if the rows is greater than zero then perform these steps we need to get a associative array it is mysql i h associative and we are just passing the uh, result to it this much so after that in this array variable an associative array is stored of the result of the resultant query so all the column fields are stored and uh, through which we can access our data so here I can replace here in the value I can declare a PHP block let me declare a php block here and same with this and I can simply echo out the array variable 
so it is a associative array so two square brackets and in the two square brackets we write in single quotes the name of the column variable we need to access so in this we need to access the username so we will write the username column field username column field so it is username simply so this will print username in this field and similarly for printing the email we will write array in the two square brackets the email field so this completes our script so let me save this script and view it into my browser so as you can see here username is printing and the email address is printing into my username field and in, uh, email field so this completes our profile page so let me show you the database where we are storing these details so let me show just user login is our database and in the users table we are storing these details so as you can see here our username is gautam and our email is sharma gautam 1997 dob at the rate of gmail dot com so when we are successfully signed in our profile page is showing these details so let me again show you from scratch so let me type once again gautam and 123456 so as you can see here it is showing me gautam sharma gautam 1997 dob at the rate of gmail dot com so this completes our profile page guys so in the next tutorial i will be showing you how to add this remember me functionality in our into your login page so remember me functionality just uh, creates some cookies into your users computer through which your computer just remembers you that is your username and password that is when you just close this window and open it once again that is this login php the entries will be auto filled you need not have to write them again and again so this is remember me functionality so this remember me functionality i will discuss in the next tutorial so stay tuned and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial thank you very much